Back now to our Firewatch coverage, which takes us to Yuba County, where people recount fleeing from the raging Cascade Fire. And I'm just thinking my hair's going to catch on fire. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now, two people died, several animals were killed, and more than 100 homes burned to the ground. There are also those stories of survival in a community that came together. CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw continues our team coverage live in Yuba City, where help came just minutes after the fire broke out. Jen? Sam and Christina, many of these people left with just the clothes on their backs, meaning they also left their animals behind, which is why the Sutter County Posse Group really helped out in this time of need. This is it. It's nothing left. Carla Albert says it's a miracle her family survived. And that's what I heard from in my house, and that's what made me come outside. The wind driven flames came without warning. There was literally seconds to get out. They escaped driving through a burning tree, but were forced to leave everything else behind. Every picture I had of my kid as a baby is gone. There's nothing but a truck for me and my five kids. That's it. That's like, sorry. It's just hard to come back to know that we have to go through all of this now. Among so much heartache, she could only hope her animals would make it. My horse, which was the gate right here, we left open for him. In less than 24 hours, crews with Sutter Sheriff Posse were trying to wrangle up horses. Carla and one other were lucky to have good news. Wanted to let you know that we found your horse. And we got her loaded. We got her loaded in the trailer. Oh my God, thank you so much. The posse shelter at the fairgrounds became refuge for nearly 100 horses. And the next thing we knew, we had enough panels here to house 83 horses, that I think is what we ended up with. I will forever be grateful to them. Hi, mister. Her horse, Johnny, and two pygmy goats still have temporary housing, but much like the other residents that lost everything, there's still so much uncertainty. We have somewhere to go, and we're really thankful for that. But that's not their home. This is their home. And I don't even want to bring them out here yet. Meanwhile, the community has been extremely generous. Carla tells me that all of her kids now have backpacks to go to school. Even the Marysville district is helping out with the busing situation. And the posse tells me that they had so much hay delivered, and each one of those horses now have a home to go home to. Imagine they had 83 here. They found all homes just in one week. Hmm. It's pretty incredible, everybody coming together. Yeah, it's impressive. All right, Jen, thanks so much.